All right, what is up guys? Welcome to Rookie. In today's video, I want to go over to all of the DIY or home gym equipment that I have here in the home gym. And for the main reason is to give you some inspiration. Maybe you're new to the channel, you haven't had the time to watch all of my DIY stuff and you want to have a quick overview. Also, I want to give you some inspiration because most of these things are built with very few tools and it's accessible to everyone that is just a slightest bit handy. In this video, what we're going to do is we're going to rate 12 of the pieces of equipment that I have here around me and we're going to rate them off of three to four criteria. So the first one is going to be use because some pieces of equipment are a good idea in theory but I never end up using them. So that is something that we're going to look over. The second thing is going to be for how many exercises you can actually use that piece of equipment because versatility in the home gym is super important. The third criteria that, that we're going to look at is going to be durability. How strong is the actual piece? How well did it last all of the years that it has been built? So that is also something we're going to look after. And also a crucial and fourth thing that we're going to look at is square meters or square inches that it takes up into the home gym. I have here roughly said 28 square meters of floor space. So the better we can optimize that given space, the better we are off if we're going to train. The way I'm going to go over each and every piece is in chronological order. I'm not going into detail over each and every number or score that I give. I'm just going to give for each category a score between one and three because we're going to keep it very simple. So uh, yeah, without further ado guys, let's dive right into it. All right, so the first piece here is the Reverse Hyper. I really love this piece because it was the first one that I ever built. It started out as 1.5 square meters, which was a huge thing. And with my dad, I was able to reduce it in size to one square meter. So as you can see, a lot of things have been attached to this bulky construction because that is how we can make the most out of this space here. So the reason why I wanted this reverse hyper is because when I got this home gym, I came off of an injury on my lower back from squatting and doing reverse hypers really, really helped me. So that's why I thought this was just a staple into every home gym. And to this day, I really like this piece, but I just not use it as much as I should. Moving on. So the next piece of equipment is that pull-up bar over there. It's an outdoor pull-up bar. I also have one here upstairs in the home gym and these are just so awesome. Everybody should get a pull-up bar. Also, my background in calisthenics is just something that screams pull-up bar. So, just, just, it's, for me, it's a no-brainer. I just had to get one. And then one of the most viewed projects here in the home gym has to be my cable pulley machine. I had so much time going into this, just thinking on how I would make this. And then once I knew how I would want it, just putting everything together, I had such a blast making this thing. I really, really just love this thing. Gets used every single day that we're here. And yeah, it's, it just sells itself, doesn't it? So let's move on. The next thing in the list is the pegboard. Just in theory, it's such a good thing, such an easy build. I really was happy with how it came to life, but I just never really ended up using it because, I don't know, it requires a very specific type of skill and if you're not practicing enough, you don't get better at it, so that's really what got me frustrated. But with me training to get to one-arm pull-up, I think this is really going to help. So I try to really incorporate this from time to time. The next piece on the list, and it's already the second iteration of it, is this gun rack. So I first made one that looked like crap, was still functional, but I just didn't like it. And then I came up with a design that looks like this one here. And I'm just so happy that I get my barbells to be displayed here under the window. If you're going to spend about a thousand euros on all of these three bars here, 
you do want to get a good solid solution to display them and just to use them and they get everything away from the floor which is nice the next thing in line is a DIY belt squat machine that's something that I really needed because at the time I was squatting and it just didn't feel right but once I actually built this I realized that I just better suck it up and start squatting again now by no means is this a bad product or something that I regret making it's just I wish I used it a little bit more I really like this build and I also like the fact that I can store it very easily. All right, so something that I made for fun and I thought that would be just a good idea to have and something pretty nice is this box here. It's a box that has three different sizes. I end up using this more than I was anticipating. So having a box just to step on or to get something higher up or to put the loading pin on, just such a handy thing to have around. So uh, yeah, I really, really recommend to get a box like this. The next thing here is the loading pin that I made. So it's not because I needed a loading pin because I already have one here. It's just to have a second loading pin. So while we're here, uh, let me show you the change plates that I made for my power blocks. So these are change plates of one kilo. I made them with some neodymium magnets so they can snap on there. So apparently for one reason, this thing mm, doesn't really add up into its increments. So I really needed to be inventive and made me some weights here that I can just slap on there just to fill in the blanks. So these ones here are 750 grams, 500 grams and 250 grams. Just something to have to go up in smaller increments. Next one on the list is the deadlift jack. So <laughs> this was more of a project that I made because I could rather than because I should. Because I wasn't really in the need for a deadlift jack. Typically I just load the barbell onto my power rack, put on the weights and just take it off again. But I just wanted to see if I was able to replicate the Genesis jack in wood and I think I succeeded. It's a really nice tool, but the problem is I typically end up forgetting that I have this. While we're here, speaking of a storage facility that is the Reverse Hyper, here I have my DIY hamstring curl machine. So obviously this is not the whole thing, but just adding this to my bench in combination with the cable pulley is just a great way to obliterate your hamstrings. All right, moving on to the last piece here. Also something I thought was a good idea and these boxes are keeping getting in the way. Woo! Okay, so another thing that I thought was just going to be a quick build and I'm probably not going to use it that much, but I ended up using it way more than I thought I would, was this block here. It's just like a calf raise block. It's nothing fancy, it's just a piece of wood onto a piece of plywood, but it's just so handy if you need that extra step in doing squats or doing calf raises or whatever you're going to do. So here is a list of all the things that I've made over the past couple of years and in the correct order in which one has the most points and which one has the least points. Now, the clear winner is going to be the pulley station, also seen by the amount of views that the video had. It's also very clear that the pulley station is just awesome. I really just love it. So thank you so much for watching guys. I hope you liked this video. I hope you got something out of it. Let me know in the comments down below if you like the scoring that I did. If you think that other pieces need another score, please let me know in the comments down below. What is your favorite? Let that also be something that you drop here below in the description box. Thanks so much for watching guys. I guess I'll be seeing you all in the next video. Peace.